hello, 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 everyone. So it is Funko Pop Friday, and um, I've been Amazon shopping. I love Funko Pops. I tend to uh, go to, like, Five Below, and I'll see, like, different Funko Pop products, and I'll get, like, the... I'll get, like, the, the manga, like, anime-inspired one for, like, my brother and things. And he gets all excited, this kid. He gets so excited over these little, like, anime manga characters. That's usually what I get him because that's what he's into. Um, he, he loves anime and manga. This year I got him a unique manga-themed gift. And I hope he likes it. I, I mean, we'll see. Um, I, I just thought it was something he'd he enjoy so maybe he can like have a creative outlet and whatnot um but we'll see if he likes it i, I was trying to think of something unique and i'm, I'm kind of like will he like it will he like it um but anyways i i've been amazon shopping and um i saw two funko pops and i had to buy them like i i had to there there was no not buying these funko pops okay um, uh, so I bought two and, um, they were like four bucks. So, I mean, it, they weren't that expensive. Um, I bought this pop, Funko Pop here. It is Disney Olaf Presents. It's Funko Pop 1178. It is an Amazon exclusive and it is Olaf as a genie. And I, I love Olaf. I love Frozen, so, um, yeah, it's Olaf as a genie, and I was like, I needed to have Olaf. Um, now I know Funko Pops are worth more in the packaging, and I always save the packaging, but usually I put the packaging in the closet, and I just open the Funko Pops, because I like to display them on my shelf, uh, usually near the, the top of my shelf. You'll see, like, up there is, like, some Nickelodeon uh, Funko Pops. And I think I have, like, a Rugrats one um, and the Wild Thornberries. Well, now I have a Disney one um, that I'm very excited for. Um, and when I saw it go on sale, I was like, yeah, that, I, I'm buying it, apparently. Um, granted, this was, like, 3 a.m. shopping. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't regret it at all. Like, I'm really happy I ordered it. Um, don't ask me why I'm awake at 3 a.m. Amazon shopping because I have no answer for you. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's Olaf as a genie. I love the picture on the side of the box. So we're going to open him up um, because I can't help but open him up. I, I just need to. Um... Like, I've been waiting for him to arrive so I can open him. Um, I like to check out to make like, sure the paint's not chipped in it or anything before I, I put them on my shelf. And unlike my doll collections, they're really easy to open up and just, like, put back in the packaging if I so choose. As long as, like, you're careful about not damaging the packaging. And I always am. And I know. The value goes down. I just... I just probably made the value go down by a lot, but you know, I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm not reselling them, um, so I'm opening them. Um, but I really like Funko Pops. I do. I've seen a lot in stores that I have wanted to get or buy or on like Amazon that like just draw me to them. And I love the snow at the ground. Like he screams Christmas. He screams smile. He also has the face that screams like serial killer because he's so like, ah! like that screams serial killer to me. I'm sorry. I don't know how many of you, you watch true crime documentaries, but I'm like, he'd be the guy that like, he's so happy. You would never suspect him for whatever reason to me. I look at his smile and how big it is. And I think, that he's got a little Delulu in him. He's a little delusional. Uh, Olaf is a little too happy. I think he's got some dark secrets. Um, <laughs> no, he's a Disney character. He probably doesn't have any dark secrets. Um, but yeah, he's like a little genie. He looks like the genie from Aladdin. He's got a gold lamp. Um, I always kind of check to see if any of the paint is like scuffed or damaged. It's not. The paint job is really clean for the most part um 
so yeah i'm pretty excited i'm gonna put them on my shelf the second one i got is luca and it's funko pop number 1052 it is uh glue I can't pronounce her name. I, I watched the movie a hundred times, still can't pronounce her name. Uh, Marco Valdo. It's like the, the girl with like the orange hair. Um, and I love the movie Luca. Like it was a really cool like coming of age story. I love how the sea monster kind of, once he was discovered to be a sea monster, like people freaked out, but then he showed them like, hey, I'm not so bad after all. Like I'm a really cool person. Like I don't want to like hurt humans. Like, I love how he brought, like, the sea monsters and the people on land, like, together. And I love that, like, the boy and the, the, the sea monster formed, like, such a close friendship or, like, compassion for one another. Whatever you want to call it. Like, they, they had some... I was questioning if they, like, maybe were going to have a love story later on. But then I'm like, not all love is... Okay, will you just shush phone... Um, but then I was like, not all love is romantic love. So I've got very mixed feelings. A part of me really wished Disney would have like shown an LGBTQ plus love story because people in the LGBTQ plus community deserve that representation. But another part of me was like, I'm kind of glad they didn't because it shows that you can have like a strong platonic love so i got mixed feelings about that movie um and i know some of you are gonna be like as a christian blah 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 blah. well i'm a christian too and i you know if you're lgbtq i'm cool with you if you're cool with me like we can jive um like i've i don't know i was taught to accept people for who they are and I could care less about any of that. Like you're at the end of the day, you're human and I'm a human and we're all just going through the journey of life together. Um, so I really liked this Funko Pop because like I said, I was a huge fan of uh, the movie Luca. I really want to get like Luca in his sea monster form and Alberto in his sea monster form because apparently he was a sea monster too. Uh, and then I want to get their land forms, uh, but I got the girl, uh, and I really like her because she has red hair and freckles like me, and I, I was like, ooh, that, that were my, she's, she got my look, she got my freckles, she got my red hair, like, I was jiving, so, um, we're just gonna unbox her, uh, before this video winds up to be 20 minutes. I try to, like, vary how long my videos are because, like, not everyone has time to watch a 20 minute video um and whatnot and with only two funko pops this should not be a 20 minute video let's be realistic um like why would it be a 20 minute video um but the packaging i usually just slip right back inside these are gonna go on my shelf nobody's gonna touch them they're not gonna be damaged uh i did have an issue where i collect dolls and i came upstairs and we realized when I went Christmas shopping to the Dollar Tree, I left the gate open and one of my dogs chewed off my dolls. And I really liked the face on this doll. It was one of those dolls, Barbies, with like the bend and click knee. And they ruined that doll. Like they just, they didn't eat like any of the plastic, like for the most part. They just chewed it up and like spit it out. Apparently they don't like the flavor of Barbie legs. Um, I wouldn't either, to be honest. Um, and so... I, I took the head off the doll because it once if I find like a doll uh, somewhere is that like maybe has um, like a body and no head and is from like a similar uh, kind of year I can I can rebody the head um, and hopefully fix it I could not fix the doll my mom's like maybe you can use it as an amputee and I'm like mom her whole leg is like you can see her bone like I'm a little creeped out by by the bone and like the sticking out of from the rubber I'm like it's cool and all and she could be an amputee but I also could just use the head on a different doll um and I, I'm still questioning if I should have just like kept her as an amputee I I've done that with other dolls in the past but the, the pointiness of the, the, like, the leg bothers me. I think I actually have it in the trash. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can get it out. I don't know if I can reach there. 
this is what they did to my doll uh, in her leg. So she's like missing a whole knee. Um, and I'm like, I, I don't really know how to, how to fix this. Um, they, in the neck, peg is actually broken which I didn't even notice until now um so that's probably why like the head just popped off easily and I'm like that's a little strange well now I know why it popped off so easily I might have to like get some um hot water place like that I might have to figure out how to rebody the doll basically um because the neck peg is broken and she's like missing up to her knee and, like, this little white part here that's sticking out, that's the part that, like, creeps me out. Like, I don't know, it looks like a bone sticking out, and that makes me feel very uncomfortable. I don't know why. Um, so I'm just gonna find a way to rebody that doll. So I have a few dolls that, that I have, like, a pile. It's under my desk next to the trash can of just dolls that, like, some are missing feet that can, like, click on, like, the brat shoes do. Um... Some of you might not know what I'm talking about. That's fine if you don't. Um, and then, like, some of them are, like, missing hands. And I'm like, if I find the other parts of these dolls, I'll fix them. Um, so now I have, like, a random Barbie head just joined that pile. Um, and so, <laughs> looking down, I can see, like, a body head and just random dolls that are missing, like, a foot. Or, like, like I got some... I. I don't remember what kind of dolls they are, but I've looked them up before. I've got, like, these things. They're missing just the feet. If I can find the feet, it'll be, like, congrats to me. And then I have uh, this doll. She is Kia Hearts. She's a Rainbow High doll, but she's missing her hands. I'm like, if I find hands that I can use, I'll fix it. Um, but that is also completely off topic um because I'm a squirrel I get distracted easy I don't mind that I'm a squirrel I it's kind of fun sometimes like we can start off at one point in a conversation and most people's brains go to like a to b mine jumps from a d e g back to a and we go on a fun journey along the way don't we um, but I also really like the cat on this Funko Pop, uh, and I like the, like, orange and striped shirt. The denim jeans are really nice. I like the paint job. Um, I really, I like her nose a lot, too. She feels very much like the animated character to me. I love, like, the curly hair, the beanie with, like, it's got, like, some texture to it. Like, I really, I don't know, this Funko Pop was calling me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, my dogs usually are not allowed upstairs because I'm afraid they'll chew on something or swallow something small. Uh, luckily, they, the only thing they chewed on was the Barbie. And, and uh, the dogs are fine. Um, they have been fine. I'll, I'll figure I'll give you that so you know, so you're not like, are, did the dogs, are they hurt by like, the plastic? No, they pooped it out. They're fine. Um, it's not something to worry about. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, I should have closed, I have a gate downstairs specifically for the dolls, I should have closed the gate, and then oftentimes I keep the doll room closed when I'm not in it, the toy room, because there's just so many little dolls and pieces that they can chew on, like, just all over this room, and so that was my bad, um, but yeah, let me know if you like my Funko Pops, um, they're, they're really cool, they're Disney, let me know if you like the movie Luca and what are your feelings about that. Do you think they should have gone with like an LGBT kind of Q plus storyline or stuck with like more platonic love and just left it where it was? Or how do you feel about the movie Luca? Because I have such mixed feelings. Um, I love the cat though. The cat's adorable. Um, and definitely let me know what you think of my, my new Olaf. I want to get like 10 Olafs because someday... I want to be as cheerful as Olaf is. Like, he's always such a sunny, bright, optimistic mood. And, like, that's who I aspire to be is Olaf. Don't ask me why. I, I, I have a special connection with Olaf. Like, that song, Do You Want to Build a Snowman, is, like, stuck in my head on replay. Um, so... 
<laughs> that sounds so bad, but it is. Um, I hope you have a very Olaf kind of day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.